Hi, welcome hi. back. If it's your first time here, hi, how are you? If you're returning, walk one. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see ya, to see you what? Lovely. <laughs> I'm G and this is Tom. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Body Collection Collection. They are an all vegan company and that's what they advertise. All vegan body collection. So we wanted to get these out of the way because like we've had them for so long, haven't we? So today's the day. Are you ready for it? Seeing that, roll the intro. Right, today we've got a choice of two primers. I'm going in with the Body Collection Pore Minimizing Primer, suitable for all skin types. And mine is the Illuminating Primer, Lightweight Rich Feel Skin. Right, just quickly we're going to find out what this actually claims to do and it, it says on the website it creates the perfect base with the body collection pore minimizing primer it's clear skin mattifying primer that helps to ensure a smooth and long lasting makeup application developed to minimize the appearance of large pores and imperfections and mine says instantly enhance your complexion a lightweight moisturising primer to ensure your skin feels fresh and awake. I actually usually prefer illuminating. Oh, but the foundation's actually meant to be illuminating also, so I don't want to have illuminating on illuminating because I don't want to glare. It. It's very pearlescent, almost iridescent sort of pearlescent. Which is funny because mine's more like blue. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really it's quite soothing. It's almost like greasy feeling. I don't really feel it's my fine me too much though, do you? If anything, I think it's actually giving me a bit more of the sheen. We may find out more. <laughs> <laughs> right. I ain't got a clue. Foundation, here we come. Yeah, well today we're going in with the Illuminating Liquid Foundation. I've got light to medium buildable coverage. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> In shade light beige. And mine is sand. No, 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 Let's see what this foundation actually says because, as you know, we like to see if it keeps it to what it says it does. This foundation, anyway, what it claims is it enhances your complexion with the Body Collection's Illuminated Liquid Foundation, designed and developed to give your skin the lift from within appearance. This foundation provides a buildable semi matte and light to medium coverage. What's more, as we've already repeated, all their products are vegan and cruelty free. I did three pumps. I'm still busy trying to find out how inclusive they are. Two very boring minutes later. I find eight shades. And it took me a lot of time to find those eight shades. And I don't think that's good enough. No, that's not good enough. Like, obviously we don't expect perfection. No, we do actually, we do. We, we expect more. Because especially when, I know you're a cheaper brand, but you still got to compare. And since you're available as well, what I find the most shocking is because it's such an affordable brand and it's available in all Wilco Wilkinson's like you'd think you would cater for more people because I know there's a whole range of people shop at Wilkinson's because we shop there don't we? Yeah. And I, I know other people that shop there. As I said I'm going in with sand and I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush. I'm just two pumps on my hand. Let's go. This is actually the only shade that I could find that actually looked like it was suitable for my actual skin tone. So that's why I went in with sand. And so far, good match. Mm, it's not bad. It's a little bit mm, warm. Mine's a bit warmer. Yeah, mine's a little bit warmer, which I don't mind because you can tame it all down with that contouring and adding powders and. Yeah. One thing I have noticed it is clinging to my dry skin, just around my T-zone, but my nose area, 
where I get my eggs from. But that's not a product problem, that's mine. Yeah, have you noticed? It's like, I don't know if it's just the light, but this is before, and this is after. It actually, it's not that bad actually, I'm actually, I just got to inspect this for a second. But it does say light to medium coverage and it's buildable. So I did three pumps, you did two, and now we're going with a fourth. But I'm only doing like about two thirds of a face, as opposed to a whole face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Orange, you like the do rag? <laughs> I thought I'd change it up for you today and not wear my cap. And you know what? It shouldn't matter what we wear, as long as you're enjoying what we're doing. And you're not hurting anybody. I like to keep my... Look. You get to see all this sickening profile. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. Maybe cut that bit out. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, because he edits. So anything that I do that I'm like, oh, no, I don't really like that. He puts it anyway. I will say, where I've just gone in with that extra pump, it's covered quite nicely. I'm actually quite liking it. I yeah. am. We bought these a little while ago and they've been sat in our makeup area. Just sat here doing the thing and yours has actually leaked. Actually properly Never leaked. been opened. No, it's still sealed. And mine was really greasy. So I'm assuming whatever oil was in there, I can't bother to go through and read it right now, has leaked out a little bit. But no, I'm quite liking this. And you know what, for once, I'm actually looking and normally, I, you can still see the blue coming through under my eyes from my bagage. <laughs> but today, it's not as bad. I'm actually, I'm actually feeling this. I'm quite shook actually. I'm going to reserve judgment because it's early days. And I've not layered anything on it and I've not worn it. I don't see how it wears, so we'll reserve judgment. But first impressions, quite nice. And look, two pumps. And I still have product left over. All right, don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> My big old man head. <laughs> Look, it is quite big though. <laughs> yeah, not as big as this. <laughs> but it depends which one you're talking about. <laughs> Dad, I'm so naughty. I'm sorry. Concealers. Picked up right. two. Um, one of them is the Illuminating Under Eye Concealer, which is like a twisty pump brush. And the other one? No, it's just a simple day for concealer. I went for shades light and... Light. Fair. Light of a fair. Medium. A medium? Yeah. So they must be limited on the shades of medium, yeah, light, medium. dark, yeah. And what was yours, fair? Yeah, fair and um, light. Again, I'm going to go quickly go and have a look to see the shade range, but I'm hoping it's not going to be the same as it was trying to find the, the foundation because ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, there's only three shades of this. And this is only two shades, light and medium. And what does it say about this actual um, concealer? This one, it says... Provides a fresh wake up effect to the skin. Under eye area appears brighter with just one click. Skin appears more vibrant and healthy with this buildable light reflecting concealer. Available in two shades light, which has a cool undertone, and medium, which has a neutral undertone. So, two shades. Two shades. Touche! <laughs> okay, right, well, this concealer, I reckon, it covers imperfections. Oh, cover imperfections with this Hero Concealer. The liquid concealer features a wand applicator for ease and precision application. And the advanced formula covers dark circles, blemishes and age spots. As we all know, I'm mixed race, so my mum's white, my dad's black. So there's people like Taya, who's mixed race, whose mum is mixed race like myself, but her dad is black. Who, none of these shades would suit. And she's a young 16 year old and the people that are most likely to buy this makeup in my opinion would be people her demographic, her demographic 
because it's affordable and they can afford it. Obviously, we're not bashing you because who are we? But we're having an opinion, and the opinion is we feel you need to extend your shade range. See what this is saying. Do you know what? I've, I've started going a little bit less with the concealer because I can't stand when it creases up. It gives me bags where I didn't even know I had them. Or line wrinkles. <laughs> I'm actually going to let it sit for a couple of minutes because it doesn't, it's quite wet, it's actually quite thin at the moment, pretty hard. We will see. But anyway, what have, been, what have we been up to? Not a lot really. Um, You've been back into hospital with your back, haven't you? Yeah, I went back in a few days ago. Oh God, if you've ever been catheterised, you know <laughs> what it feels like, but, oh, it's awful. I've never been catheterised, but I've catheterised. I, mean, I wouldn't recommend it either. Although when I did it, I was told how gentle I was. The patient was so surprised how gentle I was. <laughs> if you've had a catheter, you know my pain, but they are awful. I would never, I, I wish, because they gave me the opportunity, the option, whether to have one or not, and I thought about it, and then eventually I gave in and had one, and I, I gave out quite a lot, quite quickly, um, and that's all because of my back. I retain a lot of fluids. Um, what else have we been up to? Um, it's about it really. I've been grieving quite a bit. Um, I've been with my brother to look at a new property. Shut up. I'm just going to go in with this one because this is a slightly lighter shade than my other one and I just want there's a few points where I, I just want to kind of I'm actually not mad at this at all it blended out really easily I wouldn't say it's gave me like the most coverage I'm going to actually try a little bit of the other one because it's going to be slightly more illuminating just a tiny bit though well, my thinking is because this one's quite, it's a different shade, so I'm hoping that it might give me that little bit more of a third dimension. Oh, well. Let me look a bit more 3D. Yeah, I'm not mad at this, I'm not mad at it at all. You have to let us know what you think in the comments. So far, I'm impressed. Me For the too. price point, the only thing I'm not impressed with is the shade range. But like I say, for me, this works. So yeah, I've I've gone in with this one just because it's slightly lighter and I just want to kind of pull out those extra bits. And as I said, I went in with this, the medium. And that's not too bad. I like I say, it's covered most of my sins. Few. Too many to cover with this. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I think I'm going to use one of their eyeshadows as contour because you know me, I like when I get a palette to try and get as much out of the palette as I can and I've got like highlighters and I've got blush but I'm going to go in with blush on one side and I'm going to see if I can get a blush out of the palette because I like to get book for your bag and I don't like blush or bronzer and I love it, I love it I think for me, adds that how you were saying you want dimension to your face that's why I use br um, bronzer, I use um, contour, and I use highlight and blush. Because you wanna fuck with me, bitch? <laughs> no, we use that to like get into packages. Because you know makeup, makeup's a nightmare sometimes to get to, especially in with them. <laughs> wow. I'm going to set under my eyes, but I'm going to use my good old faithful, and I know I always use this before you try coming for me, but it's a good powder and it works for me, but I'm going to use my Revolution Banana Powder. See, we got two of the large palettes and two of the small palettes. We've got in the large, got Midnight and Sunset, which are both quite earthy gold. One's got a nice black in it. Um, the other one's more bronzes and oranges then we've got two smaller ones 
which are six pan in red carpet and showstopper. Red carpet has got a really nice pinky red glitter in it. It's really nice. And then the other one is more browns. I think. I'm going to go for gold. I'm just powdering still. Take time. And actually, even with powdering, this foundation is still looking really nice. I was thinking the same thing. There we go. They've got down. some granite effect ones. I'm not too sure how these are going to come out. Oh, mm. that's just literally picked up gold. It's not picked up any of the, any of the other granite. It's just the gold on its own. And I'm just going into this palette just to try and contour a little bit. And the only brow product that we could find at Body Collections was this brow kit. Now, unfortunately, I've got black hair, not brown, so I can't use that. I usually do go in with black. But I want to give it a try. All I'm doing, because obviously I've recently had my brows done, I'm just going to go in with the um, Essence Brow Styling Soap set. Just need some saying spray to spray my spoolie. No, I don't want it. But <laughs> since it's a body collections video, I'm going to try this setting spray. And this palette, it is a. It's in dark brown. Uh, one's like a wax and one's like a powder. I'm going to try the wax generally I prefer a powder so I'm just doing my usual brow just following the way that it's already cut I don't do any fancy laminating or no, this ain't, soap this ain't fancy just makes the brows look nicer I feel right now, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush, because I'm bashful. <laughs> this is the blush from the collection. The shade is Coral. I actually don't mind. Oh, it's a lot, look. A lot of fallout. I don't mind this brown. Brows are done. I'm not really sure about it. Why can't I put it in? You know what? This is the weirdest thing ever. When you see me like looking at myself like, so later on when we're doing our final thoughts, you'll see me doing that. Posing. And it's just, no, do you know what it is? It, Posing. No, it's not at all, don't just, whatever, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't posing. It's, I just get so entranced with myself and I think, gosh, aren't I pretty? Mm. <laughs> like, I do. <laughs> That's not posing. That's like... Mm. Vain. Looking good, girl. <laughs> right, well, I'm just priming my eyes with the Collections Illuminating Eye Primer to go in with this eyeshadow. So I'm just putting this primer on with a little brush. Right, well, I'm going to go in with the Red Carpet Glam palette, which is this little mini here. It has six, 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 <laughs> it has six shades. And I'm going in with Sunset, which has... Tune. 17. Right, let's get a crack in. once I've got it open. Bring out the knife again. Me I just pick, 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 pick. I'm... What does it say? Little pickers, we're big knickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. I don't wear big... Oh, gosh, I don't wear big knickers. This one's going to dash away. Don't need that. <laughs> I might regret that. I might win it later, but not in this lifetime. Right, I'm just going to go... Above the crease, no. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna go just above the crease with this colour here. That's actually quite pigmented. I'm going in with my Morphe 
Oh gosh, where did that go? <laughs> right, I tapped the brush and it won't look. That's how coated it is, one second. Where's it gone? The one I've chosen is almost like a, a black that's got a slight blue pearlescent tinge to it. This is actually orange. A bad colour, you know. Like. I'm really <laughs> loving this orange. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm not. Not. I'm not. I like these colours. I've not done a pink eye <laughs> <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Go into the crease with this little colour here. This, I'll show you in a second. I may actually go, yeah, I'm going to go in the crease with a little bit of that and a little bit of this. Just going back to something we spoke about briefly earlier, my back, you may find that the next com coming months there's a lot of videos I may not be in. Um, I've got operations coming up so I'm going to be unable to be in the video, I'm going to be unable to be on the screen sometimes even sitting up so um that just comes with part of the problems of having back problems i guess being a hairdresser for all those years standing in the same spot right, i'm just gonna go over the rest of the lid or at least try oh gosh this glitter oh it's very chunky quick going to my waterline with body collection eyeliner you have camera I've had to go into my waterline with my PS which is Primark um, eyeliner because the collections one was literally scratching my eye making my eyes water it was that hard it just kept snapping this was the actual eyeliner trying to swatch it this is the Primark eyeliner and that's pencil liner not actual liquid liner now, I then, after his advice, decided, right, I'll just do liquid. And the liquid isn't liquid. It's more powdery. It's very wishy-washy. There's no substance to it. The product's just dry. Dry, dry, dry. So I'm not even going to bother using that. I managed to get one decent line out of it. And then the rest was just like smudge 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 i'm yeah. gonna go in with mascara first it's the big volume mascara i got mine in brown and i got mine in black and i'm expecting oh oh god the brush is different that's the wand it's got a slight curve for your eye let's give it a wheel as you know we're the mascara kings <laughs> There's actually enough product for both eyes. Yep. That's it's a bit clunky. Yeah, my eyes aren't actually that big. So this one is very extreme. Extreme. But to be fair, I haven't curled my lashes. I actually forgot to curl my lashes. And this is actually giving them a slight curl. It's not bad actually. It's not bad. It's clunk a, a little bit clunky for me. The formula is not bad though. Although I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those that actually end up flaking later. Again, I can't really go in with lashes when I've got. I'm not going to bother. Mascara on because it defeats the object of actually. Testing the mascara. Yeah, because it's just going to hide it all. The two nudist lip liners I got, one was a pink nude and one was a nude nude. I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, and these are lips. So these were their newest collection of lip. Um, so we've got like one two day. browns, a pinky first. nude and then two pinks. It's a lip crush liquid lipstick. I've gone in with nude. 
and Plum. They're not very adventurous when it comes to the names, are they? Mm -mm. Oh, it's actually quite good coverage, isn't it? So that was Plum. Oh, I forgot I got a little Plum Pen thingy in my jig. Ugh! Ugh! What? That's revolting. Really sure about this lip. I want to try one of the other colours. I want to try this orangey red colour. So just give me a minute. Just a minge. Oh no, I quite like that, didn't you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like being watched. Don't watch me. I'm not watching you. I they was, all are. I was joking. <laughs> I wasn't doing this if they like being watched. He's a boy, yeah. And he's a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Home lock! Yeah, sit in spread. Are you done? I didn't even read what the sit in spray said. No, I'm not surprised. You've seen how small the writing is. <laughs> <laughs> He's tiny! Right, one, two, three. The one thing I will say. Leaves have been the bottom. It is actually a really good mist. It smells nice as well. The last time I was. I like, can't even act like that because that was just so natural like I couldn't make it up the way I reacted a lot in the last setting spray is the genuine this one was a lot nicer a lot calmer it wasn't as and it actually smells like it might have something like aloe vera or something skin calming in it it smells really right really fresh mm. so let's start with foundation primer primer you always forget primer yeah I wasn't impressed with the primer, it didn't shock me, it didn't, it was just primer. I didn't mind the primer other than the fact it was a little slick. And I wanted something that was more mattifying and pore minimising. And we used different primers also, he used the Luminate and I used the poreless primer. Or pore minimising. Um, I don't feel it minimised the pores but I do think it allowed the foundation to go on nicely and sit nicely. So I can see really it was alright. Now foundation. The illuminating liquid foundation. I really liked it. I was actually really surprised. I like it as well and I'm quite sure how good it is. And I'm even more shocked because you really struggle with foundations. And for you to say you like it then it must be alright. I do, I really do like it. I do think it's actually sat quite nice on my skin. Just a quick note, we just wanted to say, like, we, we really do like the foundation, but you do need to do better on the colour color range. And the yeah. same with the concealers. Like, the concealer, as you can see, worked lovely for me. And I'm wondering why you only have three shades. Like... I like the concealer as well. Yeah, you need to... I think they need to do more of a range, because people are missing out. Um, like... One pound fifty concealer. You can't go like that. Makeup so it comes and it goes. Like it, it turns around so, so quick. Trending. Yeah, so it's like things don't stick around for long. So a lot of the time when you find products that really, really work for you, it's like you have to try and buy a few of them because you don't know if they're gonna come back in stock firstly or whether it's gonna be discontinued. So yeah, I think you just need to extend on your shade ranges and so on and then wrap. Wouldn't have a complaint. Concealer I was happy with, especially using the two because one was lighter than the other. So for me I did that a bit more depth. Sorry. Pencil, eyeliner, pencil, 
rubbish. Scratching. Dry, it breaks, it scratches. There's the proof. The liquid one is dry. There's no product There's pay the off. <laughs> it's not wet enough. Brow product, I really liked. I wasn't And I don't like waxes, but I think that it's done all right, to be fair. And they didn't keep for me. Eyeshadow. The, uh, yeah, surprisingly, quite a bit of payoff, but quite a lot of fallout. But I was quite happy with the eye, uh, eyeshadows. Luckily, the fallout didn't stain. No. Because I didn't prepare for fallout. No, me neither. Plumping thing, don't bother. It's meant to be gloss, it's just glue. It makes your lips feel sticky and nasty. Like Sorry. The lipstick, the lipstick, I quite liked when it wasn't with the gloss, plumping gloss. It don't dry down, it's like glass. Um, and I used two colours, I used um, plum and ombre. Uh, plum and nude to give it more of an ombre effect. And then setting powder, which the mist was really nice. Um, it smelled nice. But overall, there's a few products that I like, just definitely would not use or recommend. Yeah, yeah but like, the, the palettes, the highlighters, actually I meant to mention about the highlighters. The highlighters are very dry feeling. However, there's two swatches that we did in the highlighters earlier. And they actually look a lot more buttery than they feel. And they actually, once you actually put them on, they feel a lot more buttery also. But yeah, the texture of them is very dry. Mm. Very, very dry. Like you said, I was digging in, but I had to dig in in order to be able to get a decent amount of But yeah, overall, I do quite like this highlighter. Probably got a bit ham, but oh well, you can never have too much. <laughs> but no, I do like the highlight. I just think it's a little bit dry, but it works. It does what it should do. Mm. There's definitely some good ones, and there's definitely some don't bother, you're wasting your money. Um, like the shade range, please, please, please. Yeah, please, 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 please. just wind your shade range. Yeah, there's definitely some we don't like, there's some we do like. There's some that there's places they can improve on. Um, mainly their shade range just a bit limited but they are a small company they're 100% vegan they are cruelty, cruelty free. free so can't really complain they're trying what they can for a very small brand on that note <laughs> don't forget to like comment share and subscribe see you again see you next one bye bye